We knew the crate we had shipped mech to Subaru in had probably been disassembled, but we were hoping to find a crate that worked. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, so we had to go to our backup plan. This is why I rented a pickup truck. We actually went to Home Depot on the afternoon of the second day and bought about $700 of extremely expensive Hawaiian lumber and then headed to Olivier's house where we cut it to dimension. The next morning, we needed to assemble everything quickly in the parking lot of the Subaru telescope before we had to do a bug inspection uh, that was required before we could bring wood up to the summit. So here you get to see us struggling to get this all done in the parking lot. If you look carefully, you'll see Vincent wearing the ultimate in Hawaiian safety wear, the flip-flops. All right, everybody, here we go. We're gonna make this work today, final boxing. <laughs> Yep. All right, Michael, will you help me lift the box onto the to this thing? Yeah. And we'll let's rotate it so so that end goes on. Okay. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Lift. It's on. Not without shoving you. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's open this up now. So we got the. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's let's try to get it flat. All right. While you reorganize that, I'm gonna go upstairs and get the sled ready to move. You want a hand or are you upset? Uh, you can help Nikki.
Here we're taping up the optical window so no dust gets in. And then we gotta remove the stops that keep mech from moving. By removing the stops, we'll be able to slide the sled off the rails. Okay, um, we're ready to crane, but the, the kids left the target area dirty. So let's, um, let's move that out of the way, then we can crane the mech rack down. Okay. Sebastian stole them for a safety uh, demo, cool. but that's okay. We can, do the, um, we can do the craning with just us. Then after we crane that, there's this. I've got it free now, uh, but I think it's pretty heavy and it's got a craning points, so I'm gonna crane that one. All right, we're about to crane mech off NAS IR. I think so. It's got those big wheels and we got a we got a we got this polar bar. So yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Up. 
Yeah, I think this is the way to do it, but let's go slow just in case. Let me check and see if the other ones are seated. Yeah, it looks okay to me. Looks okay. Okay, up. Okay. Smooth. So we're gonna go above the railing. Yep. Do you think we have enough clearance? I think we might have to. Did we take these? Come out, right? Did we do yeah. that? That'd be a real pain to take that out. Um, that's max height? That's max height. Hmm. Um, we could look for a smaller... Shorter straps. Shorter straps, yep. You're clearing on this side. I don't think, what, what's the wrench for? Uh, don't yeah. need the wrench. I think it... Things, like, you, you have to remove this. We're moving the railing. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the yes. way. So... so we're gonna be... Uh, maybe we should get tape crew to uh, come up here to uh, watch us over. So the, the deal is the, the rack is too tall to clear the railing. Okay. So we probably need to remove the railing to get it over and then lower it. Okay. So uh, I think we it's free. It's free right now. It's just the yeah. safety. Safety. Okay. Yeah. All right.
set it down? Uh, anywhere. That's fine. Maybe I'll center it back. It's pretty good because we're going to clear the meat through this. Yeah, let me go get the uh, puller. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful. it's not that bad. That's what we that we bought. You we said it was a thousand pounds. It is. Those are good wheels. <laughs> I just can't turn it. Yeah, I got to turn it this way. How does it turn? It should go like this. I'm going backwards. Right. Beep! 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 So our plan is to lay it on its back on this foam right here. But we can't we gotta get it off this because once we lay it down. Um so Mike, you wanna Michael, you wanna come help? I'm gonna get uh, either way, um, let's just put it down here. Okay. Mm. We're gonna need to get a pallet jack in from the uh, from the side here. Ooh, can we get a pallet jack in there? Do we. It'll be tight, but we can get this out of the way real quick. Can we check them? We didn't check to make sure that that's high enough. Well, then that might be. What? Yeah, wherever wherever's convenient. I just want to. One thing I didn't test was whether we could get the pallet jack underneath it or not. I think we're good. Yeah. Got to watch out for that um the the thing at the back, but. Oh yeah. It goes under. Woo! Two two by fours. <laughs> did the job. The problem is the two by fours keep shrinking. Those are more, they're an inch and a half. Yeah, they're not two by fours anymore. No. They just lie to you when they tell you it. <laughs> Where do you guys want to lay it down? Okay, so should we move this over there? Tilt it on the th that's the bot yeah. The side without all the electronics facing out. No no no. Uh the wheel stay. The wheel stay. This is this is the back laying it down on this side back here. Oh okay. So this back side touches this green foam. Okay. And the wheels will just kind of Are you okay hang off. With us picking up on one end? Yeah, I think it be, should be fine. Ben, are you doing two layers? I, I wouldn't go too high with it like that, but you know what? Two layers of foam. Yes. It's gonna self-sand. You want to take the handles off first? Uh, yeah, I can take the handle off. This spin. This. Uh, That's okay. Can you, you want to use it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they should go over that, I think. You can move the foam forward if you need to. There's plenty of clearance. Okay, 
Probably good to move that cord so it doesn't is not under anything. Yeah. I think as long as it's stable, we're we're, we're good. Nice. Please come yep. Fishing operation, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. You see, when we do the mirror, we flip it over. Oh, I can't. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> All right, it's only what? Forty-seven. Forty-seven <laughs> All right. I think we can build it. Yeah. I think we're good. Just, just put it on top. Good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, right. You got any foam you don't want to use? Just let us know. <laughs> um, there's some of my stuff up there. Uh, Wait, right? it's not Is that good to go? Well, you will use some of it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, because I think it's mostly it's on. You know, this hasn't compressed that much actually, yeah. so it is really resting on the foam. So, okay. see how it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mostly, yeah, it's gonna cost you. <laughs> All right. Great. Yeah, we'll use it. We have one more, but this will be how good to. Okay, we're ready to get started then. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah, let's go towards you. You can put your side down. Okay. The Home Depot wood is about, is curved more than any wood I've ever seen in my life, but we'll make it work. So. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Okay, it's gonna fall, but once we get some screws in it, it'll hold. All right. Thanks, so much. All Thanks right. guys. Have a good day. Okay. Are you using the three inch screws? Yeah, we're using the, the three inches. inches. And we need the, the, the driver for it. Because these are Torx. Uh, let's see. I guess it's approximately. This one is stuck, so we got one. Okay, so that one on. Okay. Is that flush? Uh, How small? Uh, that's gone. Perfect. So yeah, with enough screws, you can make anything straight. Okay. Like straight enough. Going to hammer drill. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Ready to crate up. Well, the GoPro ran out of batteries before we could capture getting the top on, but we did get the top on and the crates are now at the summit and ready to be picked up by the shipper. All right, everybody. That was us crating up Mech. So Mech is now in three crates. Those crates are gonna get shipped all the way from Hawaii to Santa Barbara by air freight. Once we get it back in the lab, we're going to uncrate it, check it out, make sure everything is still working, and then we will start the upgrade process. We're going to totally tear it down, and we're going to build it back up and make it into the best exoplanet camera that we can possibly make. Uh, you're, join us on this. We're going we're gonna to show you bleeding edge technology, the stuff that barely works, uh, that involves cryogenics and microwaves and all the great stuff we do in the lab. So join us on in this adventure, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.